What's good, everybody? It's your boy, O'Shane Duke Jackson. Back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Jump. I want to talk about game playing when it comes to dealing with women. And obviously all women do this, but this is a black show. I deal with issues in our community. And um, you know, the games that women can play when it comes to men, don't get me wrong, men can also do this, but women tend to be a lot, women tend to be more, more adaptable at these things, a lot more cunning, more, they have a better perception of what they're doing. Men are not really so good at playing the kind of games that that women play. And when we talk about the games that they play on the opposite sex, what we're dealing with are these pseudo masculinity tests, also known as shit testing a man. And the greater manosphere has talked about this before. Um, you know, black men have talked about this before. Men all over the world understand this concept where women can put a test to you to see where you're at mentally to see how you're going to respond. Sometimes a woman may not text you on purpose, may not call you on purpose. Uh, just to sit back and to see what is the response to see if she can get you to come out of character. And that will let her know where her respect should lie, where she should you know, continue to have a relationship. Uh, if you're going to get turned off or not, and a lot of times guys in the mental sphere oh, talk about understanding the shit test mechanisms that ladies have. And, and let me just kind of, you know, contrast this because guys, when we play any kind of games, um, whether it's, you know, basketball or something, you know, th there's a reason why we're playing. We're trying to play a game to win, you know, the stock market game, you know, we're trying to play. You know, understanding, because we call knowledge understanding game, you know, understanding women. Under, you know, there's always an end result for what we're trying to accomplish, you know? And, and usually uh, that can end up with some long term reward for us. Usually, not all the time. Women play games um, out of boredom. You know, this is why they have text buddies. Let me just text messages to him, see how he's going to react. And then if he does, then I just won't text him for another five or six days just because they have nothing better to do and they just think that it's shits and giggles. That, that, that tends to be sort of the games that women play on that level. And the biggest mistake that any man can do is to get caught up in women's games. I've done that. I've been there. Um, I'll tell you not to do it. And right? it's hard. It's easier said than done. But ultimately what I realized when women try to play games with, especially if it's a man that they're in a relationship with, a man that they like, if the guy is good and decent, I can see if the ain't nothing, if, if he ain't about shit, then I won't have a problem. But if this is a man that is worthwhile, he's providing, he's doing things for you, he's doing the right stuff, They'll still play games, right? Sometimes even more so because, you know, this is the guy that's doing for them. So let me see how far I can take it. The problem comes in is where you play so many games that she ends up playing herself. All right. And what I've noticed is 99% of the time, the women that I have seen play these sorts of games have all lost at the game that they're playing. Meaning that there is no real end result. It's very temporary. It's out of no real causation. It's just because I wanna shit test somebody or I wanna see how somebody's gonna react. Or And then what happens is that if guys can recognize that pattern, over time they can avoid such women. For example, um. There was a woman one day, I'll talk about this, this is a few years ago, a woman told me that she was going to send me a, a picture, okay? And um, this is something very minor, okay? 
And she was like, yeah. Date music! Yeah, I took a picture. A really good sexy picture for you, but I'm just really shy. I don't know if I should send it. You know? So she never sent it. I was... And, and, and so... The, the whole... The whole thing that she wanted me to do was either beg for the picture or get upset that she didn't send the picture. My response to her was, it's not that serious, just keep it, right? Because if you wanted me to have it, you send it. I'm not gonna sit here and engage you about this photo, you know? Because I, I really wasn't trying to trip over anyway, whatever, you were the one that was kind of talking dirty and stuff like that. So you said you would send it and so you didn't. Well, what ended up happening is, is that I just lost all interest in it. Because I already saw all that I need to see. And for guys who recognize the patterns, and Steve Dean said this before, that most women, um, they come across certain guys, and even though they don't know you personally, they've met you before, uh, there's a duality to that. A lot of men, we've met a lot of women before. We've we've seen the the, the games. We've seen, some of them are, are, are played poorly. The more experience that we see, you know, some of the things that they talk about, like, you know, I'm not like the rest of my friends. I'm different from the rest of these girls. We already know that's a lot of cap. So when we come across those kind of red flags, then it, it, what, what's going to happen is, is that a lot of guys just won't say anything. They'll play around maybe until they get the booty and they'll hit it or whatever. And then they'll leave you alone. For me, it's not even worth it trying to get the booty from me. I don't need to tell you about yourself. Or tell you who you offended, who you think you are. I just stopped talking to you. The reason why I stopped talking to you is because I'm not gonna go through no game plan mechanisms with you, especially if I feel that you're not really worth it. Because some women, you know, you will talk to because they're pretty. You will talk to because they got a big booty. You will talk to, but then you know, there's certain things you just won't take off of them. And any kind of game playing, any type of illicit stuff like that, that's out of the ordinary, trying to shit test me if I haven't done nothing, you know, like just real early on, then what you're gonna end up doing is playing yourself, because I'm gonna talk to you. And then you find out, come across them two or, uh, two or three or four years later. All those games they were playing, they played the game, got the wrong guy, got pregnant by the wrong guy, Guess who lost the game they were playing? Them. Because see, if you're really successful in trying to be on your way, man, you can let a, you know a lot of women waste your time calling you on the phone, playing games. You know, it ain't being rude, but just taking up your time. Um, you know, getting caught up in the lies. I really love you. I really care about you. And there's really no effort about that. A lot of guys gotta really understand. That's a lot of that is a waste of time. All right, a lot of that is a waste of your time. You know, you want to show me that you, you care about me, then, well, okay, come over here right now and do some certain things I'll tell you to do. If you don't want to do it, just leave me alone, you know? And if guys can really recognize those patterns of trying to make you upset real quick or just playing a stupid game for no reason and then just cutting them off just all the way, like, don't tell them that you're going to cut them off. Just don't talk to them no more. Just out the blue. Just, you know, just, just leave them alone. They don't know why you cut them off. They don't know why you won't talk to them. You don't have to tell them why. She'll figure it out. And to be honest, it don't even really matter if she don't figure it out. Because it's not that important, right? If guys understood how to not get into dysfunctional shit tests, you wouldn't see so many black men dealing with baby mamas, dealing with, you know, chicks. They wouldn't be in prison. They, you know, a lot of guys right now are in jail behind some games. And while you locked up or while she with, she with somebody else playing some games, and some of y'all should be lucky that some guy took your girl from you. Because all she doing is running the same games on him, making his life miserable. He ain't going to have no money dealing with her. He ain't going to have no nothing nice dealing with her. He going to be miserable. All the problems that she had with you, she going to take to the next guy. Just avoid those kind of, you know, tests. Some are going to happen, but a little bit more respectfully. And you let her know if you really care about her. Hey, listen, I don't appreciate this. You know, don't, don't, don't play me like that. Or you just cut her off and then she keeps trying to talk to you, then she'll understand. Guys got to start letting, you know, teaching people lessons about running tests on them. 
and that test comes and the consequence of that is a big ignore. It's a big, you're out of the life. You're, you're not going to have any contact with me. And once guys get to that level, we're going to start respecting you more. So guys, what do you think? It's your boy, O'Shea D. Jackson. Back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Junk. I really appreciate you for all that you do. Subscribe at the bell. Take out the first comment 10 to top. And as you know, the buffoonery remains at an all-time high. I'm out.